Hey everyone, and welcome back to a quick new video. After my last release, I received a ton of feedback regarding the collision issue on the new skeletal trees, especially when they are deployed using PCG. That crucial fix wasn't included in the previous update, but great news, I've found a definitive solution, and now these trees do have proper collision. The only difference is that the setup is slightly revised from what I showed last time. So let's dive straight in and get these skeletal trees set up with perfect collision. Let's go! When you open the project, you see the demo level open. Select the BP forest and go to the details panel. Standard is showing the grass asset. For now, we will clear this asset and go to the mega plant settings. Select the mega plants trees asset, only nothing happens because we have to fill these with the skeletal trees. Open up the data asset and click on the plus icon to insert a new asset. You will notice that this asset is a little different than my last video. It's asking now for a blueprint. Go to the PCG Forest folder and we see a new folder with the name Blueprints MP. Open that folder and choose the Trees folder. We see a new blueprint called BP Megaplants Tree. Open up the blueprint. I make the window a little bit bigger to see what we're doing. Select the tree component and then click the Viewport tab to see what's in the blueprint. Then go to the Details panel and search for Skeletal Asset. Open that and we can change the skeletal mesh. Go back to the Data Asset. Let's drag our blueprint tree into the empty slot. And we see in the viewport, the default skeletal meshes appear in the PCG. We want that to be skeletal trees. So first we have to download them freeform the fab marketplace. For now, I will fast forward this part. You can see some more in-depth on downloading these trees in my previous video. And we're back with a free skeletal tree that we can use for the blueprint. Let's open the folder where we can find the trees we can use. Open up our tree blueprint that we're going to use in the data asset. Select the tree component in the blueprint and drag a skeletal tree into the empty slot. We're getting a warning saying that a nanite assembly was encountered. That's because I didn't set my project settings and plugins for skeletal tree. So let's open up our project settings and look for nanite and enable the nanite foliage. And before we restart, let's go to plugins and search for vegetation. And enable the procedural vegetation editor as well. And now we restart the engine to let the changes take effect. When the engine is restarted, we see already some trees in the viewport, so that's working. First open the data asset of the trees. You have the same settings as the other data assets. You can change the scale and the weight of the trees. Let's insert a new data asset and make a new blueprint tree for this. Go to the Blueprints MP folder and duplicate the blueprint. Open the duplicate and select the tree component and drag a new skeletal tree into the slot. Compile the blueprint. When we select the viewport, we see the tree appear. Let's zoom in a little on the trunk of the tree and select the capsule. This is the capsule that will give you collision on the tree. You can change the height and radius of the capsule to fit on your tree. In this case, the trunk, we're making this one a little taller and also a bit bigger. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Compile and save the blueprint. Go back to the folder of the blueprints and let's make a new asset in the Megatrees data asset by clicking on the plus icon. Make a duplicate of the tree blueprint and another duplicate of the tree blueprint. Now we have four blueprints. Drag our second blueprint tree into the empty slot of the data asset. Open up the third blueprint and give this a new tree. and to this also with the fourth blueprint.
When we have all our blueprints filled with the skeletal trees, we go to our data asset and drag our just made blueprints into the slots. And we can change our scale and weight to how you want it to appear in the PCG. When everything is set close, the data asset and we have our mega trees in the forest with all the same settings. We can change position, use the generate buttons and use the tree settings to make variation to the trees. And now we also have collision on the trees. Let's set the third person character and play the level. The trees now have their own collision. So that's a little different approach with my previous video, only that the mega plants work within a blueprint that makes collision possible on these trees. But the trees are not animating. So let's drag in our global foliage actor to give it some wind and increase our wind speed for movement. I see it doesn't work. Oh, I know why it doesn't work. Because we didn't set up a wind animation for the trees. So let's go back to the tree blueprints and open the first one up. Select the tree component. Look for the transform provider and choose for wind transform provider. When you select that one, we instantly getting wind on our trees like you see in the viewport. Okay, let's compile the blueprint, save it, and do this for the other three blueprints as well. Once the wind is set, let's decrease the wind, because this is too much. I'm making it a 20, that's look much better. And you can change also the trees individually by position or rotation, so you have more control on where you want your trees to be spawned. and the season and health of the trees are also still available with this setup. And we can change the wind direction as well. And the same goes for the world partition blueprint. This forest has the same settings as the other one with the same mega plants trees in the blueprints. So collision is also available for this blueprint. So there you have it, this collision. It's not that advanced at the moment, but it contains the collision to work with at the moment. Next step would be skeletal grass that bends when the character walks through it. For that, I think I need some more investigation into skeletal meshes. Hope this will work for now. The update is now available in the PCG forest and available for download on Fab and my Gumroad. Look for the links in the description. Leave your feedback or any questions about my tools or this video in the comments section. And don't miss out on future Unreal Engine content, tips and tool updates. And subscribe to the channel of course. Thank you for watching and until next time keep shaping those worlds.